All right, guys. Uh, I got a couple comments uh, on Facebook that wanted to see this thing in action. So I'm like, heck, why not Let's throw it together and uh, fill the the barrels with a little bit of water and uh, and hook up a hose. And I got my Sutner ST510 and a J-Rod on there. And I'm going to give you a little demo video. Um, so again, we have water in both barrels. And I have the surfactant line capped off at the moment because I don't want to, um, number one, waste my surfactant, and number two, spray soap all over my driveway. So that will be off at the moment. Um, this proportioner is actually off of my rig. I know it works. I use it all the time. Um, I'm waiting on um, Patriot to send me uh, a couple that I've purchased from them now. Uh, they should be shipping out uh, in the next couple of days, according to Miles, who I talked to earlier. So let's give this thing a go. Um, I put my battery in it. You can see the connectors I've used. Nice ring terminals, weather pack, weather tight, heat shrinked. And uh, we'll flip it on here and see what happens. Okay, I've already started it once, so it's uh, the hose is pressurized. So, got my nozzle here. Sorry about the shadows. Let's see if I can squirt the dog. He's coming back up the driveway here. And here we go. Okay, that's on a fan pattern right there. You can tell, or you can hear the pump running. It's an on-demand pump, so as soon as you pull, let go of the trigger, it stops. Now, let me switch the J-Rod over here, if I can do this with one hand. And uh, switch it over to a, a more... Uh, more stream pattern. Let's see how far it shoots here. So it's a bit windy here, so it's firing pretty good. Again, it's a five and a half gallon per minute pump. Here goes the dog, see if I can get him. Max. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got him. So he's a good distance away. He's a little unhappy now, but it does work. So again, I have the surfactant line capped off and it's off as well i didn't want to spray a bunch of soap so i have water in both barrels now i did get a comment on the strainer at the bottom of the tank and uh, that person made a pretty good point i'm not sure if that strainer is uh, bleach safe um, i still will include them just with a little note that uh, says you might want to be wary about what the bleach does to that strainer so uh Thanks for watching this video as well. If you have any uh, questions, you can hit me up on Facebook at apexpressurecleaning.mi. Thanks.